Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you now Game 5 in the TESL Finals from Taipei, Taiwan. Game 5 is going to be between Spiders, DS, and Gamania Gao here on Antigua Shipyard. It looks like it is going to be forced cross bonds in a Terran versus Protoss matchup. So far, really enjoying this series, seeing a wide array of wide array of strategies as Honey trips over a fan behind me, startling me. All right, so Gamania Gao spawning as the Red Protoss here at the three o'clock position. Spide Wei Li's spider spawning Wei Li's spider DS spawning as the Blue Terran here. And Terran versus Protoss here on Antigua Shipyard, I really do expect it to come down to uh, Terran Bio with Vikings and Ghosts versus Colossi, Gateway Units, and Psy Storm. That really seems to be the most effective combination of units that I've seen. Really don't see a lot of mech in Wings of Liberty, but I do, do believe that will change in Heart of the Swarm as what I have seen from the Warhound really really opens up a lot of different gameplay styles but let's talk about Wings of Liberty and Game 5 here DS opening up with a pretty standard build it looks like he will be going for a one wax expand and not a stab nope never mind taking up a refinery now so he's not going to be going for a one wax expand and with this we may see perhaps some Banshee play there is a lot of dead space here and here as well which allows Banshees to get off some easy easy shots and with this front door seal as well it would look to be the case as DS and purposely traps the probe inside the base he's not going to be able to get out it will delay his orbital command ever so slightly but it will also guarantee a kill on this probe the scouting probe will not live to fight another day as that marine will be able to take it down rather easily Gas is already being established. There you go, getting up to 17 supply before upgrading to an orbital. The probe's like, please don't see me, please don't see me. It will get spotted here as the Marine is going to just chase it around and shoot it down. As soon as this uh, probe is down, I do expect a factory to be built. Um, or, oh, the probe is still doing some amazing jukes inside the base, finally getting taken down. And a kill steal by the SCV. The Marine's like, dang it. I still have zero kills. Coming back inside the base, Gamania Gal opting to not go for a faster Nexus, knowing that his opponent didn't go for a fast command center. So he's playing a much more tech route. And what I'm looking for now is whether or not we will be seeing a refinery here. One important thing to note, the factory is down here. So it is going to be a proxy Banshee. And proxy Banshee always very, very deadly as the Banshee gets there ever so, so fast. So far, we are only going into one refinery, so it is it is not going to be proxy cloaked Banshees. Just your standard uh, run-of-the-mill Banshee is not even two-port Banshee, as we are now going into a Hellion. A Hellion will be trained before a Tech Lab will be added on, or perhaps multiple Hellions into a, a Medivac Hellion drop. Marines getting off some easy shots off onto that Zealot. The Zealot now down to 42 hit points, being forced to pull back here. And it looks as though, yes, it is going to be a Hellion drop coming in from DS in order to get a very strong economic advantage. He needs that economic advantage since he will be falling behind. DS still only on one command center while Gao is already halfway done on his Nexus. You can consider that to be a three worker advantage and also less diminishing returns on that harvesting. All right, it looks like we will have about four Hellions right as this medevac is com is out and about. I think that is going to be the timing. Oh, 40, 50 plus 42, 90 seconds. No, you are going to only have three Hellions, and the fourth Hellion will be a little bit delayed, but it only takes three Hellions in order to one-shot a probe. Coming back down over here, are the is the pylon going to spot this? Yes, it looks like it will, as the Hellions are now going to be dropping in, but the Stalkers are already in position. And here you go, the Hellions now trying to get some torching in, getting in some worker kills already, already up to three worker kills, and now trying to make a run down. Are they going to be... Oh, a beautiful force field by Gao, and Gao able to save that Congo line of probes from near, from near certain death. 
as the harvester count is now 26 to 26. And that is still not good news as Gao is going to be able to train up even more and more probes off of this additional nexus and be able to chrono boost even further as well. Coming back over here, the Marines coming in for a little bit of an engagement. Going to be able to take down a Zealot, but five Marines for one Zealot. Nope, five Marines for no Zealot there. Just a whole bunch of damage on a Zealot. A horrible exchange as the losses are now starting to just climb and climb for DS. Gamania sitting on a nice advantage now with his additional base being able to chrono boost out a little bit further. DS finally has his command center up, now upgrading to an orbital command as we are going into another Hellion run by. A Hellion or a Hellion drop trying to come in. One probe does get taken down. More and more workers are getting destroyed. Only one more worker. And there you go. DS n did not catch his opponent off, off guard there. And DS now slightly behind as Gao wants to figure out how he can continue to press his advantage. DS now going into some more barracks play, the standard double tech lab, one reactor, getting stim pack and combat shield. We are going to be seeing a factory now lift off and is the starport actually going to take that tech lab? If it does take that tech lab, is it going to be training up ravens is the next key question as ravens would be useful in spotting and taking down these observers nope going to be adding a barracks there and now adding on reactor as well a much more traditional bio play getting being able to double train medevacs and vikings so far one scv attempting to run away still observer flying around there is no uh, missile turrets so no detection just quite yet as Gao just pretty much has all the scouting information that he wants and needs more observers being added a colossi should be trained up in just a moment and both players sitting on two bases right now and no one wants to take that third yet taking your third too early can expose you to a lot of different types of harassment, but taking it a little bit too late could could delay things as well as we are going into multiple gateways. Another forge here and here as well. So we are going into double forge upgrades. Colossi, and with this, Gal should be considering taking up his base sometime soon, but he still doesn't have the probe saturation at this point. DS now looking to take up his third base already coming down off over here we see extended thermal lance range already being added and right now DS is not training medevacs nor is he training vikings which is a curious curious move normally you need that starport to always be in production especially in a Terran versus Protoss matchup you either need medevacs or you need vikings you never want to be caught with no Vikings on the field if your opponent is going for Colossi as we now see the observers pretty much keeping track of all of these Marines and Marauders walking across the field. 1-1 one, one upgrades coming in. Stim pack already completed now as the center has been taken control of. An observer now shot down. So 94 versus 104. Command center about to be completed down off over here as DS is currently supply blocked and now finally training Vikings. He needs to get down two additional refineries here to add in more and more gas for more medevacs and more Vikings as we could be going into a drop. There are a fair amount of stalkers though and that could be a problem as there is already one proxy pylon here which will catch sight of this drop. Does Gao know about it? Yes, Gao knows about it. More units are warping in and those units smartly decide to take down that pylon and not pretty much do anything else. DS re uh, remanaging all of his medevacs here. You can see a group of stalkers, one colossi, zealots pretty much going to stop and he drops from happening. And DS is now sitting comfortably as he already has his third base up, but he is still behind overall in terms of his economy. He's not training up SCVs, which is a big surprise to me, as he's now finally going into an armory for level 2 weapons upgrade on all of the bio and perhaps even level 1 air upgrades for those Vikings. Sitting back over here, Zealots, some Photon Cannons now warping in. The drop will not be successful as Gal wants to be able to move around with his army a little bit further. 
still and we now we are going into that all important third base for Gao. Gal now spotted by DS and we'll see what the strategies will be. He's currently on the field, only four Vikings. Four Vikings going up against three Colossi with a fourth one on the way. That is not good news as the Marines and the Marauders are now simply going to try to walk up this ramp here, get some easy shots, take down an easy Zealot, and this factory will get shot down as well. Double engineering bay for double upgrades, but we already have level two weapons upgrade coming across for all of the Protoss ground army we can see currently what four colossi ready to go here comes the drop and the drop looks to clean up a lot of the units zealots marines and the marauders now trying to escape will be able to do exactly that a little bit of damage dealt but not much of anything as ds still needs to get up perhaps some more scvs off over here 50 versus 59 this still seems rather low as the vikings and marines and marauders are still trying to engage one colossus does get taken down in exchange for a viking nice play there by ds as ds still needs to get a heavier viking count for some reason not double training vikings off of that reactor starport and he even has two reactor starports to get even more of Vikings and more medevacs into the air. DS starting to slowly take his advantage as now Marines and Marauders are making their way in. Not very many Marines and Marauders are left in this group. Now attempting to take down some photon cannons. Stalkers are making their way over. The Marines and Marauders taking down some zealots. In come the rest of the stalkers here. Is the medevacs, are they going to be able to run away? No. Leaving behind two more marauders. Two medevacs do escape as they're now engaging against a larger group of colossi. And there's some force fields. However, the colossi have been able to whittle away much of this Terran bio army. No medevacs nearby. And with that, DS perhaps lost more than he should have. He really needed more medevacs. He needed to get rid of those colossi faster. And now with no colossi on the field, his next attack should be successful. Zealot quickly getting cleaned up down here. So far, harvester count is still 51 compared to 68. Income tab still shows things are fairly even as the mules are artificially helping DS's economy. We're sitting up to five Vikings now. Three medevacs now being added. And with only one Colossus in play, I j or one Colossus being trained and no Colossi in play, I think DS should be in a good position to take this third if he tries to press it once more. He will be going up against an upgrade advantage though, as 3-3 three, three upgrades have just started, and 2-2 two, two upgrades have yet to be completed by Terran DS. Alright, a 19 supply difference between these two armies. Only one Colossus on the field so far. It does have 2-2 two, two upgrades. More Vikings once more being added. We're getting into 7 Vikings. 7 Vikings. I believe 10 is the magic number to take down a Colossi that have 2 uh, two armor with one zero upgrades on the Vikings and here we go there's a scanner sweep the Vikings gonna try to engage and get out some easy shots there and the Vi Colossus needs to get taken down before anything really happens it does go down as the, as the Terran bio now just kiting all of those zealots a beautiful beautiful action by DS as DS should be able to just charge up here now and take down this base no Colossi no splash damage and with this attack force here, there's the Guardian Shield now, but the um, Archons are just going to get simply rolled over. Stalkers will get taken down. And now there's the Manor Mules coming in from DS saying, you know what, Gal, I got this game. What are you doing? And now there is the GG. Gamania Gal says GG as Spider once again takes the lead going 3-2. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed Game 5 in the TESL. Stay tuned for Game 6.